welcome back to build stomp projects this week we're back on the mower build um, to start out with we're gonna go ahead and get the hood mounts put on welded whatever built for this thing so these are the ones that were the factory hood mounts but moving all of this four and a half inches forward we need to redo these in order to mount the hood so once the hood's mounted then we can move on from there and kind of probably jump right into front suspension so we'll get started Pulled this lower control arm off of the strut so we can go ahead and get it welded on this side. I'm just gonna get it kind of mocked up in here, right somewhere right about here, tack it on there, and then uh, once it's all tacked on, I can kind of check its motion and whatnot, see where it's gonna end up in kind of its travel for the strut, and then I can kind of position where the strut might need to be and just kind of eyeball things out and see what it's gonna look like. Got this uh, first control arm kind of tacked on here a little bit. Huge shout out to Rogue Fab for sending this uh, handy dandy angle cube, if I get the light to turn back on. Use that to get it lined up. Um, well, it was zeroed until I moved it, but all nice and zeroed up to the frame. So you just set that up on top of the frame. You can zero it out and then that way it makes sure that that's nice and, what would that be? Nice and parallel to the frame. It's been a long day. Okay, so we're gonna move on and get started on building the rest of the suspension mounts for the uh, top top of the struts there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna build some little standoffs with that are gonna be notched. So I gotta notch this here and then cut the two to length. And then we're gonna run a kind of a bumper across the front here with this, I don't even remember what size this stuff is, inch and a quarter. I think, I don't remember, from the Odyssey, whatever size it is. We're gonna use some of that on the front there and then use this one inch, I think this is inch and a half, use this one inch stuff and run it up towards the top of the strut. So that way we can come off, kind of come up and then tie back in down here. And then we'll also be building another one somewhere for the front as well.
All right, so a uh, huge shout out to Rogue Fab. I mean, they, this bender is awesome, but uh, they also sent us this angle cube and these nifty little clamp tools and such. So what we're doing to get the degree of rotation between the bends is I just kind of set it up. It's almost at zero. I mean, there's a little bit of play and stuff here, so you could get it to zero, but close as it needs to be. And then uh, tighten up this clamp block here. And then I go around to the back here and use this other one, this other little clamp, and just set it up at zero on here as well. I made that look really easy. I'm not sure how that happened. And then come back up here, and then to get the degree of rotation, just loosen that back up. This one needs to rotate this way, 15 degrees. Line it up at 15 degrees-ish, maybe. If I can get it there, 15 degrees, tighten that back down. And then now when we make the bend, it'll be uh, 15 degrees, I don't know, twisted, I guess. may have noticed we started building this tube on that side and then on the second bend I may have rotated it the wrong direction so it's gonna fit good on this side uh, we'll just have to build another one for the other side which is fine because we needed a mirrored copy anyway so now I know which direction I need to rotate it to make the other side see if I can screw that up again So we got the uh, this side bent now. I didn't screw it up, and I changed one of the uh, the angle of rotation between the two bends by about five degrees, and I like it a lot better. So I'm gonna just go ahead and redo the other side. So then that way, instead of having a, I could just cut this, rotate it five degrees, and then seam it up. But uh, instead of doing that, I'm gonna just bend another one, and then I'll use this just as like mock-up angles and stuff so then that way I kind of have an idea of what angle I might need to bend something before I do and it'll it'll work good for that anyway so just use it for that. Yo, get out of my shot. What are you doing? Oh, wait. No, this is a video. Ugh, not again. <laughs> all right, well, that's all we have time for for this week's video. Um, building the side tubes here took quite a bit of time. But next week, what we'll do is we'll be working on this again, but want to go in and f build another tube that runs probably from in here somewhere and then kind of around and then down and ties in back down in here somewhere. And then that way we can build the uh, mounting plate for these McPherson struts because I don't want to use this factory mount all that much. So we'll be building a new mount for those as well. We're going to try to get all the front suspension stuff mounted so then at least we can set it on the ground and kind of see how, how stiff or soft the front suspension ends up being and kind of check ride height and stuff before we start building on the rear. So that's the uh, plan. Make sure... Uh, you stay tuned for that. Hit the uh, like and subscribe button if you already haven't. Get the bell notification on so you see when we post. And uh, thanks for watching.